After a long year of being cooped up together at home, America is ready to hit the road again. And what better way to see the country than in an RV? Joining us, Paige Bauma, Executive Vice President of RV Trader. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, it, it's great to have you here because, um, like I was saying, you know, people have been cooped up in their home for a year. There's been a lot of togetherness. And, and also, a lot of people are itching to, to get out and go on vacation. And what better way to do it than in an RV? I could not think of a better way. I love RVing. It's so much fun. It's a perfect way to social distance and also have some really great family time, creating some amazing memories. Um, you were saying that you are actually on the road 30, weeks out of, 30 weekends out of the year? 30 weekends out of the year. And then now because of COVID, we've actually done quite a few like week trips because we're able to like our kids were able to do virtual school and we were able to work from home or you know, our home away from home. Mm -hmm. So we even did six weeks in Florida. Do you, um, do you suggest people, because I know during COVID people were going out and just buying RVs. Do you suggest people go out and maybe rent them, rent one first, kind of give it a dry run, see if they like it before they actually go out and spend you know, a decent amount of money on something that's going to be living in their backyard or in their driveway for a while? Yes, I think that try before you buy is a great way to look at it. And I think also it can even be for somebody that may already have something. Maybe you've got a travel trailer and you wanted to see what it felt like to get a drivable unit. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I think, I think renting is a great way to go. And how do you know which one is the right type? Because there are so many types. You get on the highway, you see them up and down the road all the time. You see some that will connect to your, to your truck that you have. Some, there's a fifth wheel that they have. And then also they, are, they have ones that are just enormous um, that have every luxury, luxurious thing in them already, which I'd like to have. <laughs> They are, it's, it's a lot of um, glamping these mm. days, right? It's really, really nice experience. So here's how I look at it. You want to look at how you're going to use it. That's my first thing that I think about. So mm. I'm going to use it for family trips. I'm going to be using it with, you know, just some, some friends, a, a couple people here and there. Um, and then where am I planning on going? Do I want to go across the country and I'm going to be driving for a long period of time? If that's the case, I really think that a drivable unit, like an A-class, is the right, the right thing for you to think about because you're going to be driving long distance. You can kind of be together all hanging out. It makes the long drive a lot more enjoyable. And then you've got your towable unit. So if you're going to be kind of staying a little bit more local or, you know, maybe just going a couple hours away or you want to go places that you can get out and really explore, then I suggest a towable unit. And that'd be like you've seen like an Airstream, you know, it attaches to your bumper because then you can detach and you can actually go somewhere really fun, do some awesome day trips, go do some exploring, some hiking. So I'd look at it like that. The other thing I would look at is like just your sleeping arrangements. Like I know for us, the biggest thing, I've got two boys. We wanted bunk beds. Mm -hmm. So you know, think about that. So that's right. how I would start. Um, and the other thing is pricing as well. Yes. So when you're looking at pricing, um, really think about your budget as a whole. Like, so you're going to think about the cost of the unit or the rental cost of the unit, but also think about your insurance, any maintenance that you would have to do on the unit. Think about um, where you're planning on going. Are you going to be staying at campgrounds? Are you going to be doing things like harvest hosts? Are you staying at friends? Like how much are you going to spend there? So start to think about some of that when it comes to the pricing. And then I cannot say enough good stuff about third-party websites like an RV trader. Utilize um, a site to go in there and you can look at like minimum um, for pricing or maximum for pricing. So you can really start to get a feel for the specific unit you're looking at and what the, um, what the pricing is going to look like for you. Um, one of the other things too is plan your route ahead of time. Don't just everybody pile in the RV and go, okay, where are we going? Kind of have an idea about where you want to go before you do that. Absolutely. I feel like you've got to take the time to figure out where you're going. And remember, driving an RV is not the same as driving your car. So when you're planning out that route, start to think about like some of your stops. Where are you going to be stopping to get, get gas? Because it's going to be a different experience than in your right. car. You're going to need to make sure you fit where you're going. Are you going to be going in an area that there are um, lots of bridges you're going to have to go under? Know how tall your unit is before you start down on your endeavor of where you're going. So yes, you got to really plan out that route and think about it. And you can't just show up at a campground and expect to, uh, to get in. And one of the other things too, you know, I, I see a lot of these like giant RVs going down the road. Do you need a special license to drive those or 
can anybody just get behind the wheel of these things? For the most part, no, you do not need a special license okay. to, to drive an RV. You do want to get comfortable with it. So like if you're renting for the first time and you are going to be running a, an A class, a, a drivable unit, or even a C class, I tell everybody to get it the day before. Get a Don't little test run. Your unit. <laughs> Do the, do the test drive. Take the, take the day. Get comfortable with the unit. Practice in a parking lot. Like, right. Uh, again, it's not exactly like driving a car, and you're, you're going to want to have that little bit of time. And with everybody uh, going to these campsites now because of COVID and being locked up, make sure you book, uh, book someplace in advance. Don't just think you can show up and say, hey, we're here. The family's ready to go. Yeah. Yes, you, you, need to book, you need to book in advance. Um, you've got a lot of people that are going to be out there at these campgrounds just like you. So call ahead, make sure that you're going to get the type of site that works for your specific unit. So you need to tell them how big your unit is. Make the decision if you want to have water, if you're going to want to have electric so that you can, you know, you can be ready. And again, the, all the creature comforts of home. And quickly, before we went on, I was just asking you, do you think this is a, a fad or do you think people are actually going to stick with, with camping, with RVing? Because I, I agree with you. Being out there with your family is a great experience and everybody has this fairy tale of how it's going to be. It doesn't always turn out that way, um, <laughs> but, but we're going we're gonna to keep our fingers crossed and hope that it does. Some trips are better than others. Yes. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I absolutely think it's going to continue on. I think camping and being with your family in an RV is such an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. And the pandemic, I think, has introduced a lot of people to it. But the actual experience of camping will keep people in this industry and keep people RVing. Well, I hope I hope so because there's a lot of great places to see here in uh, here in the uh, here in uh, our country. Um, I've always wanted to go out to the Grand Canyon and see that, and I have this, you know, fairy tale dream of what it's actually going to be like when I load the family up in the RV. We'll see if it happens that way. You should do it. Okay, sounds good. Sign us up, Paige. Thanks so much for being with us. Great talking to you. And here's to hitting the road. You if, too. Happy camping. Happy camping. If you would like more information about any of this, we're going to post a link on our website. All you got to do is head to roadshow.com.